Tenu. Family in Africa. Family in Africa. Pants in America. 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 Pants my name is Walter Bongoloa. We organize these uh, anti-sanctions under the auspices of the Worldwide Forum for Economic Development. As you can see, our t-shirts. The petition that I have here, which I will go and give to the Americans, has got the following objective. We want them to be aware that the sanctions which they have imposed on Zimbabweans, they are causing untold suffering in Zimbabwe. We want them to be aware that as Zimbabweans, we have been here before. We see them as a declaration of war on the lives of Zimbabweans, on the dignity of Zimbabweans. And like the wars that we fought with the British and them, we are going to win this one. So we are telling them that. We want to appeal to the international community that these ones here behind us, the Americans, they must respect our sovereignty, yes. our right to govern ourselves, yes. our right to discover ourselves. Thank you. We are prepared to defend our sovereignty. Yes. We don't want to be told how to change the regime. Exactly. Exactly. Regimes will be changed by Zimbabweans. Yes. So we want to tell them. Here in this petition, we are telling them that, that it's our right to choose our government of our own choice. The sanctions that they have imposed on us, we want them to be aware that we are prepared to talk and dialogue with them so that we tell, we, they, they, they understand that they will never, they will never influence us to change our path, to change our right to our land, because we know it started with us taking our land. So we want them to be aware they can't change that. We also want to encourage Zimbabweans who work with them to maintain these sanctions, <laughs> that they must join us and help us fight these Americans <coughs> and tell them yes we know that this is a neo-colonial attack on our resources so we are saying we will fight to defend our resources so we know that Zimbabweans are all over the world we are telling them that as Zimbabweans were scattered all over because of these sanctions exactly the Zimbabwean economy is not producing jobs these Americans, through their hegemony over international financial markets, they close every door. Through their control of the IMF, the World Bank, and any other institution that creates a fund, they close the door on us. So we are saying to them, they must not interfere with our right to govern, because we won that country through blood and sweat, and we yes. will defend. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So, comrades, there is a lot of detail. I won't go much into detail, but these are the main things that we are contained in this petition. So after they sign, we will take the other petition and keep it with us so that we continue to inspire other Zimbabweans and like-minded Africans. We want to thank all members of SADC. We want to thank the PAC, which is here, for joining us in this fight. Thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> 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 One one of Pamba or Abuja, you guys, 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 you guys
whatever who is on this earth so it's so painful because what we are going through when we are in other people uh, in other countries as they want they divided us isn't it they divided us so that they can rule us mm -hmm. so by that it's also sanctions to africa mm. and also now in zimbabwe they have put these sanctions not us to trade with other countries not the business to come to our country to zimbabwe that's why we had to go out to, to, to source whatever that we can source so that it can also we can as well give to our families back home we are even struggling even to go to the hospitals in africa in south africa which is part of africa which is part of zimbabwe because we are one we are one family but we have been divided so they want to rule us and loot from us from africa our own resources as we are suffering with within because of these african uh, uh, americans so please we want these sanctions to go today. We are want them to be removed today. Yesterday. Yesterday. Oh, now they are enjoying our resources. <laughs> they are enjoying our suffering. Ah, yeah. When they see us here, they see, the, they see people, they say, look at them, look how suffering are they. Mm. But it's them who are making us this way. We don't want to suffer like this. We are suffering in our own land because of the people who are greed, who are so selfish, who think that they know you rights more than us. Hey, but they don't know the pain that we went through. When a mother is having a child nine months in the in the womb, it's not a child's play. But what this mother is, is trying to have a, a, a future of tomorrow. But the future of Zimbabweans, of our kids, have been taken away by this illegal sanction. Yes. Our yes. kids are now suffering because of the drugs that they are bringing to Africa. Hey, that again, our Lisa. kids are suffering. We are suffering now. We are dying of trauma. We are dying of sickness. We don't even have medication. Speak, Dr. the Spoil. When we are here, we are being told that we are Makwerepe. Because of them giving wrong information to the same people who are Africans like us. Speak, Dr. Dr. Spoil. We don't want this, this and 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 go back back illegal <laughs> sanctions must right, be removed. Yeah. To now, to yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. today. Yes. We are yes. really yes. suffering. America must go. We don't have anything. The, kids, the families are into pieces. Some they are even eaten by crocodiles trying to look for something to, to survive with. Please, we are suffering. I don't know what they want to see from us. They want to see our blood coming out, which is not good at all. I'm so hurt. I hate Americans. They cannot tell us anything that they say they know. They know nothing about human rights. If they knew about human rights, they should have even removed these sanctions years back. Because they want us to do their own will. What about us? What's so special about Americans? They are nothing to us. And they are not going to do anything to us. Speak out of the soil. Bambi, you are going to Africa. Africa, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Don't go this way. Don't go this way. The only weapon they had was the sanctions. And you know the irony of sanctions is what? <coughs> when we were struggling for liberation, both Zimbabwe and South Africa were calling in the international community to say, sanction Rhodesia, sanction South Africa. It was the Americans that were boycotting those sanctions. It was America that was disguising the anti-sanction movement and supporting illegally South Africa and Rhodesia. But today they have the audacity to say they are imposing sanctions in Africa. We are saying to hell with America to hell. To hell. Yeah. Yeah. Say America to hell with you to yeah. hell. Yeah. You yeah. cannot be claiming to be champions of human rights because all you are doing is to perpetuate neo-colonialism, you are perpetuating imperialism. Therefore, as the pen of the Congress of Azania, we are here to also educate our people that when we say it's not yet Uhuru, it's not yet Uhuru, because some people think we have liberated and we are free, we are still suffering. All the mineral resources of South Africa, gold, you call it diamond, they end up in Britain, in America, in France, everywhere. That is why the struggle is say continue, Aluta continue. So we are here together, comrades, to say our people must understand that the war against imperialism will only end once Africa as one united monolithic state, having one country, one president, one army to defend all our gains. That's the only way. That's the only philosophy and only thing that can unite us in Africanism. So my, my Africa, we are here with you. We are saying continue the struggle. We will support you. I was living in Zimbabwe during our struggle. So I'm the true living experience of being in another country fighting for your liberation. So I say, Pambirine Wando Pambire. Pambirine Wando Pambire. Pass in America, pass. Pass in America, pass. Pass in America, pass. My comrades. Okuma, my comrades. Tumaza. Tumaza Moyo. Political Commissar, we Zanpia. Uh, my comrades, I want to thank. Umu tu wonge ola anane. Muno esa ipa ano. Sure. But matora nguva eni. Kuti muye pa ano. Tuwe ya kuzo uzama Americans. Buti. Down them sanctions. Down. Yeah. We are suffering. They, we are here just because of them. We are suffering just because of them. Some people they don't understand why we are here. They say we are here just because of his and It's because of the lack of understanding. It's lack of understanding. Then what? Do you want to call the reason why it is pano? Glory to God. Do you suffer? Our kids are suffering. Our youth. Now, now, just because of our parents, they are Just because of them. They are bent. They don't even know our parents. But we are not pano. But we are not in South Africa. Just because of them. Yes. We want to go back home. One day, that's what they will understand. They will remove those sanctions. We don't want those sanctions again. We want to go back to our country. Just because of them. At school, at school, I would talk. At school, I would go to America. If they think, I think our late president once said, if they think, they think, they think, if they think they've got a piece of land, that's what we do. We don't want, we don't want anything to do with America, Britain, with, with, with Europe. Yes. Charo Goop and in my comrades. Yeah, yeah. So my comrades, I'm here to take you to my way up. No, you gave yourself time. Mama Marova, my bassa, any post. You know what? Because those are my Americans. Leave our country alone. Leave our Zimbabwe. Take it to Maryland. Pass now. Pass in Pass Africa for Africa.